Hello everyone, and welcome to the 10th edition of Viewer Made Malware, this time featuring the Zika virus. And this one is the second virus actually submitted from Int7BH. You might remember him from the very first Viewer Made Malware, which was a DOS virus. And I tested that way back at the beginning of this year, how far we've come. So Zika is a modern Windows companion infecting virus. So what this means is instead of infecting files directly, it will actually create a copy of files and then link it to the virus itself so that whenever you run programs it will run the virus first and then execute your program that you are attempting to run we'll go ahead and run the virus now we get a uh, error message saying cannot find DLL and a couple of hidden DLL files appear here which are related to the uh, companion infection so now that we've run the virus, it scans through the hard drive and finds uh, suitable exe files to infect, or at least create a companion infected file for. So if we look in our programs files folder here, we can actually see that this has happened. So files such as vmtoolsd.exe has been replaced with a hidden copy. This is the original exe here. It has now been renamed to vmtoolsd.dll.sys.exe. So when you run this program, you're actually running the virus itself, which will run the virus and then run the original program. So to the user, it would appear nothing has changed if we actually change the view here and uncheck hidden items. You won't be able to see those origin original files at all anyway. You'll only see these regular infected files. So we run this. It runs VMware tools. However, it's actually running the virus and then the exe that we're looking for. Zika's payloads activate 90 days after the initial infection, and I definitely mean payloads because there are several dozen of them, over 50 according to Int, and the way it picks them is totally random, so every time you run this virus, you're going to get a different result. We're going to go ahead and change the date forward and see this happen. So let's see, we'll just go ahead four months, we'll go straight to Christmas of 2016, and we should see the Zika virus in action and like I said every time it's different so you really never know what to expect although I've seen some pretty cool stuff happen when I've tested this before it's been about 10 minutes which it usually takes to uh, begin displaying the payloads and I've gotten ahead and restarted so hopefully soon we should be seeing something happen I turned the hidden files back on so now there's a few icons on the desktop as some of the payloads do mimic some classic malware like shoe or magister where it uh, pushes the icons around the desktop. There are also ones based on Navashield, it's laughing and the uh, deleting drive C window that pops up, and uh, all sorts of stuff, so it's pretty neat. But since it's random, I don't know if they're all going to be in this video. And all right, we had to wait a little while, but here is the uh, first payload. Windows are now bouncing, and in this case, our window is the desktop, so there go the icons. If we open Explorer, it starts bouncing. The uh, start screen bounces. That's pretty funny. And now uh, every minute, usually, it starts up a new payload. And then it decreases the uh, amount of time between payloads by 5 seconds. So the next one will happen 55 seconds after that, etc, etc. Okay, the computer is now playing the Cheetah Man theme. Kind of laggy, but that's definitely Cheetah Man. and Cheetah Man has stopped. Okay, our window title has actually been corrupted now. The bouncing stopped for just a bit and then that happened. Does that happen for everything, I wonder? How do you do things in Windows 8? I missed the start menu. I can't press buttons, they bounce too much. I guess it only corrupted window titles of things that were already open, but that's pretty funny. 
Alright, our taskbar also got corrupted. Oh, nope, there, oh wait, there it is. Okay, what's happening? Things are moving. I'm not quite sure how, but they're definitely jittering around now. That's interesting. What am I looking at? What happened to the C drive? I can't do anything in this window. I can't click things. Alright, we are jittering. Well, I wish I could show you the start screen, but I can't click on the taskbar, and I don't have a Windows key on this keyboard. Let's try... Send a control alt delete and back out of it. Nope, taskbar is still broken. Okay, I restarted Explorer, and now my buttons are missing entirely. Whoa. Alright, I just inverted the colors, and then started the bouncing payload again. And if I draw, I can change the colors back. Awesome. I still cannot use the taskbar. Alright, things stopped bouncing. Nothing's happening. This is... it's quiet. It's too quiet. Okay, the background changed. That's not too malicious. Where is my cursor going? Um... Alright! Oh, there it goes! Look at it go! It is... it's doing things. Is it done? It's done. Well, that was fun. It's back to being quiet. I don't trust it. Okay, I clicked on the desktop and all the icons disappeared. Now every time I click, it just dings at me. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, there they are. Oh, it's doing the Magister kind of thing, but with Windows. Alright. I can get... Oh, we're melting. We're on acid. No, okay, never mind. Now, we're back to Magister. Alright. We are we are tripping... Oh, my taskbar is back! Sick! Alright, I'm excited. Okay, we're not Magistering anymore. Whoa, 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 okay, what? What is going on? This virus can't make up its mind. Oh, there we go. We're chasing icons. I don't know where the rest of the icons went. I can't right click and refresh. It just dings. Oh, this is fun. We're, we're done? We're done again? I guess we're done. Whoa. What on earth? Uh, okay. That was... Neat. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's happening? My icons are spiraling. It's like icon dance. It's been years since I've looked at that. We Look at it go. That's pretty. Alright. You do that. I am a robot from outer space. I am a robot from outer space. I'm pretty sure Navashield used Microsoft SAM to say that it was a robot from the future. So I'm assuming it's a reference to that. Oh, 
Oh, we're blinking. This is like the um, Ebola virus video. I don't know if you've ever seen that, but it was a really cool video editing project that made it look like a computer was completely trashed. And that was one of the things it did. And it was pretty neat. I like this. It's a nice, nice tribute to a bunch of other very classic videos and classic malware. Well done. Oh, God. Scared the shit out of me. I hate that pig squeal so much. Oh, my God. Damn it. I was just about to say thank you, Int, but now, no. No, go to hell. I don't appreciate that. Damn it. Where did my screen go? Our screen blacked out. It's back. Oh no. Warning. Oh no, I can't click the warning boxes because they're running away from me now. Everything is running away from me. Why does this happen in my life? I can't click anything. Oh, and I can't click on the desktop anymore. Or just dinging. Oh no. I still can't click on these things. If I click and drag, it just goes absolutely wild. Oh, I can clear them with enter. Take that. Oh, shit. Okay, this is another payload where it maximizes, or at least brings to front every window including all of the system windows that are always supposed to be hidden and uh, having these visible makes things really weird and has the potential of breaking a lot of stuff like I don't know what this is but that shouldn't be visible there's a million of these little tiny windows that we should not be seeing but now we do can't click that one that one's off limits I can't click anything. I can kind of look down here, but I can't do anything. System infected. Oh no. You don't say. This machine is getting more and more messed up with every passing minute. Okay, there's this giant invisible window that I can only see the border of, but anything that goes behind it is no longer clickable. It's just ruined forever. There is a sine wave playing. Oh no, oh no. I... I don't like this. I'm sorry if this hurts your ears. It hurts mine, too. Okay, now it's black. Now it's green. What is happening? Oh no, it's not a shield! I turned on the virtual machine a little bit. What? Oh, what? Oh, dear lord, what is happening? What is going on? I'm stunned. Like, I'm literally speechless. What can I say? Alright, to wrap this up, I'm going to load a um, restore point that I made from one iteration of testing this virus where it had some really cool effects that we haven't seen yet. So hopefully it still does them when I restore this restore point. Okay, so as you can hear, Nava Shield is laughing. Yes, it works. Alright. So here is one where it starts drawing the screen at diagonal angles, and it looks really cool. Like if we click and have a context menu, those will also appear in these screenshots.
I'm just letting it go. System infected. Oh no. And now I got a bunch of icons. Oh, we can erase them by highlighting them. Oh, sine wave. Sick. Oh, more icons. And now we're redrawing portions of the screen. That can also be erased with highlighting. Oh, there we go. Alright, I turned down the captured system sound to 5%, so hopefully this isn't too loud. That is really annoying. But this looks really cool. Whoa, whoa. Nice. Oh, there's the Novice Shield Drive C payload while everything starts creeping up the screen. The uh, Cheetah Men music just kind of overrode the um, Novice Shield sound that it's supposed to be playing. I think that is a pretty good point to end this video. We probably did not see everything, but like I said, everything is random. Every time you run it is different. And I think we got a really nice selection of some really fun payloads. So thank you in so much for writing this. This is so cool. Other than that god-awful pig squeal, I still hate you for that. It's unforgivable. I'm sorry, but I can't forgive you for that. Wait. That's a little contradictory. Oh well. At any rate... Thank you for writing it. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to submit your own viewer made malware to potentially be made into a video, please check out the links in the description and follow the instructions on the forums. Thank you for watching. Take care.